Yeah, so I have 60, over 67 million gil, most of which was from selling. Mastered all materials, because you get like, what, 1.6 million for each one you sell. And there's an achievement for getting 99 million gil, which we should be able to get now, once I sell the rest of them, so... We're gonna go ahead and do that. It's gonna be pretty sweet. We may have to sell a few other things, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Let's see. We got a bunch of all materia mastered. Some of it's not, but that's okay. Just sell these off, because it's pretty cool. Need to make sure we leave one mastered. So we get all the materia. Almost there. Oh, we're so close to being there. We're going to need to sell off a few other things. Oh, uh, let's see. Mix off some MP pluses. We don't really need those. You know, they, they don't really give you that much. Uh, we can sell some HP pluses or some magic pluses. That should do it, though. There it is. Achievement unlocked! Master of Gil! Ho <laughs> ho There's really no reason to ever get that much money, though. There's just... No, there's just no reason for it. You, you know what I mean? You, you just don't need to do that. But we did. Because we're psychotic. I'm sure most people probably don't bother with with that achievement. Because you really got to go out of your way to do it. But I did. How you like me now? Also, I should mention, there was a materia that I forgot about that I had to go and get after last after the last stream. It was a final attack. And I had to master it. Which is actually an important materia for the super bosses. Yeah, right here. Basically, you, you hook it to another material and you'll use it when you die. Basically, you get it for f for the final battle in the battle arena. After you get a Omni Slash W Summon and you beat Ultima Weapon, you'll get an extra final battle where, where you'll fight the bosses. Ending with Proud Clod, which is not very hard, by the way. And you get Final Attack. So, there's that. Also, I got all the enemy skills. If you'll notice here... The only two we needed was were uh, L5 Death, which of course does death to enemies whose levels are on multiple of five. You learn that from the parasites in the final dungeon, and uh, Angel Whisper, which revives, restores HP and status to any one ally, which is very useful. Even if a character is not dead, it'll still restore their HP and status, which is pretty nice. You you learn that from the uh, sep sepsol enemy, the uh, the the woman enemy in the final dungeon. Oddly enough, also can appear with the, the parasites, and you need manipulate to learn both of those. So, and you need to have, learn uh, all of the enemy skills with at least one enemy skill for it to be considered mastered. So the only materia we need is the underwater materia, which we're gonna go and get now. Yeah, it's a spell name. Not not an extremely useful spell, but it does exist, so. So we just need to go and get the underwater materia. Once we get that, we should get get the achievement for mastering all materia. Because you can't uh, master water materia, you just need it in your inventory. So we need to go to Calm. And I went the wrong way. Again. As always. Every time. Because in order to start the side quest with the uh, two super bosses, you need to talk to this dude. And you get the underwater material if you give him that a uh, guidebook. That we got a long time ago. I think it's this house. Eh. 
Not exactly. It basically damages the amount of HP that you have taken away. So it can be useful, but typically not. So I think we need to talk to this dude. The world's changed a lot in the past few days. That huge meteor is covering up the sky and acting like it owned it. A lot of my friends have died. I'm going on a journey to pray for their souls. A map that was sunk along with the ship, guidebook. Which we got. A rose that blooms once every thousand years in the desert, the desert rose. A harp that soothes those who hear it, Earth Harp. So Earth Harp and Desert Rose you get for beating each of the two super bosses. And we already got the guidebook by morphing the uh, ghost ship in the underwater reactor. I wonder if there's anyone who will bring it to me. I got the guidebook, dude. Oh, it's guidebook. Want to trade it for this underwater materia? Sure. Okay then, it's a done deal. We don't need the underwater materia. But, you know, I usually don't, don't use it. It's underwater materia. Go on, it's yours. Okay. Underwater materia. Hmm. I should have gotten the achievement, but apparently not. Could I still be missing a, a, a materia? I don't know. I may have to check that later, but... I, I don't know what I could be missing. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to look through it all and... See what I'm missing. I shouldn't be missing any, but apparently I am, so... I'll have to figure that out. But basically what Underwater Materia does... It lets you breathe underwater. The only battle you do underwater is with one of the super bosses. So, if you don't have it on, you'll have a 20-minute time limit. Which I think is plenty. So... We should be okay. I, I don't think we'll really need to use it. So, we gotta go do battle with the two super bosses now. Let me get a sip of my water. Okay. So before you fight either of the two super bosses, you need to be very prepared. Because even at level 99 with the best equipment, they can still wipe you out. Just like that. So, you really need to be prepared. So we're going to do uh, Emerald Weapon first. Which you may remember from, from SMRPG Armageddon. Because it was a super boss. Uh, let's see. So, like, like I said, you basically have 20 minutes to beat Emerald Weapon unless you put the underwater material on. Interestingly enough, um, I believe Emerald Weapon was not in the original Japanese version. It was only available in the US and PAL versions. But I think they added it to the Japanese international version. Um, yeah, they released version 9. I actually have it. Ha haven't noticed anything different about it yet, though. Uh, so, let's see. So, Emerald Weapon has a million HP. It's weak against lightning. It has gravity, although gravity still does a lot of damage because of how much HP it has. It nullifies Earth, and it absorbs ice and water. Since it's, you know, um... Underwater, so that makes sense. So for it, so for its attacks, it has eyes that kind of are closed and open. You you can defeat them and they'll be closed, and it, it'll kind of change the attacks it does. Um, it when its eyes are closed, it does foot stamp, which is a physical attack to all enemies. It does around eighty seven hundred HP, depending on your defense. It can also do Emerald Shoot, which is a magic attack to one enemy that does around 9,500 HP of damage. Also dispels Barrier, M Barrier, Shield, Death Force, and Resist. And when at least one eye is open, it can do Emerald Beam, which is a magic attack to all to all your characters. That does about 
damage equal to about 21 out of 32 of their HPs. It also dispels regen, which I never really use anyway. So, I don't know. Yeah, I've, I, I've still got a lot of SMRPG hacks to play. No, no doubt about that. Let's see, he also does Revenge Stamp, which is a physical attack to all enemies that does around 5,500 HP, and it dispels haste. And probably its most lethal attack, it's called Air Tam Storm. It does physical damage to all enemies. But the damage it does is based on the number of materia each character has equipped. Because it does 1,111 damage for each piece of materia. So if you have 9 or more, it, it'll automatically do 9999. Which is something you don't really want. So you just want to put on it, the bare minimum for materia. We also want to put on our ultimate weapons. That would probably be a good idea. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Having, el el having elemental protection and status protection is probably a good idea here. Uh, let's see. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see, we want to... I mean, our main weapon is going to be, uh, Knights of the Round with W Summon, and then Mime. So, and you you, you want to make sure you have it mastered so you can use it five times, because ju just like two casting is probably not going to get the job done. We'll put on Mime. I think we already have Mime. No, we got to put Mime on. Okay, that's fine. We need... Or w, w Summon, not Mime. What the hell am I thinking about? W Summon! Because like I said, this boss has a million HP, so it's going to take a lot of damage to take it down. W Summon. Like I said, you you want to put like the bare minimum of, of Materia on. As few as possible. Having HP plus probably wouldn't be a bad idea. So you have the max HP. Ha having a magic plus on wouldn't be a bad idea either. T to get more magic. And one of the keys of, of these fights is to have a uh, final attack connected to Phoenix. So if your party gets wiped out, you'll automatically re revive yourself. So it's kind of like a safety net. Because that can very easily happen. So we'll put that on. Final attack, hook to Phoenix. Where you at, Phoenix? There you are, you little bastard. Okay. You should probably have enemy skill on someone. So that you can do, like, big guard and such. Even though, even though he can dispel it, but still. Um, and you want to have Mime on both characters that don't have Knights of the Round. That's extremely important. Mime! Of course, putting HP plus on is always good. Because you want to have the, the, the highest HP possible. Okay, so that attack will hit him 5-5-5-5. Five, 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 five. It'll hit him 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. And on her I might put... Uh, hmm. Speed plus, just to give her more speed. Is there anything else we want? Let's see. Like I said, you, you gotta make sure you're extremely prepared. This is like one of the ultimate fights.
Yeah, you do get 50,000 AP for for the, for this battle, but we don't really need it since we've already mastered everything, so doesn't really matter. Miss style is probably the armor that you want to have on, which we I, I don't think we have a third one, do we? Oh, we do. Okay. Even better. Because all of Emerald Weapon's attacks are non-elemental, so elemental protection's not really going to do a whole lot for you. Uh, da, da, let's see. I, 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 accessories? I don't think he does status ailments, so we don't really need ribbons or sa safety bits. Tough rings and champion belts and circlets are good. So, we'll put on Tough Ring. We'll put on... I guess we can... Oh, we, we have another champion belt. Let's see, what does the circle that do? Yeah, that gives you better magic. So, put on champion belt. Limits aren't really a big concern. I would probably take off Fury, though. Because th that'll make him do less damage. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. Alright, ho hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. And we'll give this a shot. But like I said, it can be very easy to die. So. Even in the max level. So, we're going to give this a shot. And just see how it goes. It, it, it probably will take a few tries. Also, I should mention, I believe you can slow him. Also, interestingly enough, if you're in level 99, the uh, Goblin Punch attack can, can do high damage around 9999. So that's kind of interesting, although I'm not too worried about that, because we're mainly going to be using... Uh, Dual summon Knights of the Round and then miming it. For the most part. And we can also do limits. If we get them. Those will add some extra damage. Okay, where the hell is he? You never know where this little pool expert's gonna... There he is, hanging out. Playing some GameCube. Alright. Let's do this. Oddly enough, you get the regular battle theme for some reason. I don't know why. So first we want to do Big Guard, I guess. Even though he can just di dispel it, but... We will definitely be using, uh... Mega Elixirs li liberally. So you want to duel summon Knights of the Round, and then Mime. And then mime again. So. So we're going to be sitting here for a while. I'm not sure if that will be enough to finish him. It might. I'm not really sure. Because it's going to do close to 9999 damage. Like. I think like 14 or 15 times. For each summon. And that may still not be enough. It's hard to say. So hopefully we can do all this in under the 20 minute time limit. If not, we can always ju just put the underwater materia on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the most powerful and longest summon of any Final Fantasy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay. And that's just once. We still got five more to go. Also keep in mind, it takes 250 MP to use each time. 
So it's really going to suck your MP dry. I mean, I'm pretty sure this isn't the only way to do it, but this is without a doubt the best way to do it. Also, I will mention, you you can actually abuse the lucky 7777 thing. Because basically what happens is, is uh, his air tem storm, you can abuse that to... If you have a character with two materials, it, it'll do a 2 2 2 2 damage. And if you have 999 HP, it'll automatically put you in 7777 HP. Which will make your character go into, uh, what's called Lucky 7. Which will have them do 64 hits of 7777 damage. So that'll be an insane amount of damage right there. Looks like Tifa's Knights of the Round doing a little less damage, but that's okay. Or, or, or you could just do it the normal way. Where you just abuse his weaknesses, like gravity. You can use Quadramatic with gravity to, 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 to do 9999 damage four times for each casting. And you can also hook, hook gravity to MP absorb or HP absorb. Did different things like that, a way to keep your HP up. So really, there's there's a number of different strategies you can do, but th this one's the most simple, and it's probably the most surefire way to do it. Okay, number four. Still got two more after this, and I'm not sure if that'll get the job done. It may not. I'm hoping it will. This may be considered kind of a cheap strategy, but considering how difficult this guy is and how cheap he can be, I don't really consider it to be cheap. Especially considering we have a time limit and we need to beat him as quick as possible. Keep in mind, he has a million HP, so that doesn't exactly go down very fast. So if he survives all of these summons, we can just keep miming. Nope, he's still alive. <laughs> Let's go for number five! Yeah, speaking of SMRPG hacks, I actually just got, like, I think about, like, five or six more of them that, that I just found. But the thing is, they didn't come with descriptions, so I don't really know w what they even are. So... I may end up, like, doing some casual streams of them in the future. Just for fun. Some of them do look pretty interesting. So that could be fun.
I guess Cloud Dud doesn't have a mime, so he'll have to just re resummon again, which is fine. Nope. Gotta use summon number six. Well, I guess we could just do mime again. <laughs> Instead of... Yeah, because when you do mime, you don't use MP. Which is pretty nice, considering each summon takes 250 MP. And keep in mind, their uh, summons do about 3,000 less damage than Cloud's. I'm not sure if that's because because like Mime is not as powerful, or be, because their magic isn't as high. But it still does insane damage. Okay, the timer's almost at the halfway point. But we, we should be close, I would say. I would hope. Are we gonna have to do more? Or, or, or is that good? Nope, we gotta do more. Ow. <laughs> summon number seven. I'm not sure if some of the attacks are elemental, because, yeah, they, they do look like it, but I think it's considered non-elemental. If you go to the summon, it just says extreme summoned monsters. So, I don't know. So, I'm assuming it's considered non-elemental. Even though some of the attacks look like ice and earth and fire and different things. But I... Th I'm pretty sure it's considered non-elemental. If it was elemental, then the, the water attacks w w would be healing him. Since he absorbs water and ice. He should be getting close, I would think. Nope, still alive. Maybe this will be the last one. Oh, we're at the 10 minute mark. Got 10 minutes to kill him. You would think that would be enough, but it should be. I'm assuming he's just about done. The other Super Ross, though, is uh, a little more complicated. Because it does status ailments and such. And I think it and I, and I think it's considered harder than this one, really. Did we get him? Nope, he's still alive! The bastard won't die. See, so here's, what, summon 9 and 10, I think? Yeah, th this is summon number 9. That just shows you how much HP he has. Ironically, the other super boss has less HP, but he is considered harder. Mainly because he can do status ailments and, like, like knock a character out of the fight. So, 
That's kind of the deal there. But we'll get to that. Ba da 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 da. Ba ba ba. It probably does take a lot longer if you do damage to him with a different method. And you you probably would need to put the underwater material on so you, so you have more time. Okay, summon number 10. This should hopefully be it. Doesn't mean it will be, but it should be. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, we're almost down to five minutes. If you have more materia, one of his attacks will do more damage. Because it does 1,111 damage per materia you have on. So if you have at, at, if, if you have at least nine, it'll automatically do 9999. Automatically killing you. So. That's why you want to put the least amount of materia you can. In case he does that. Luckily he. He has not done that. So. Oh now his eyes are open. Not that it really matters, but... Yeah, you can, uh... Oh boy. You can, uh... You, you, you can abuse the, the, the that, that attack to invoke Lucky Sevens. Because it... If you put two materias on it, it, it'll do two, 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 two damage. And if a character has nine, nine, nine HP, it'll take them to seven, 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 seven HP, automatically doing it. Where you'll do like sixty-four hits of seven, 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 seven. So that's a thing. That's another strategy to use. But I prefer this one, it's much more simple. It's, it's a much more simple setup. I think that should definitely kill all of the eyes. Not that it really matters. Got him! Finally! Yeah. The animations do take a long time. We had about four minutes left. <laughs> Woo! So, so that's one way to achieve my unlocked emerald weapon. Good. So, so you get 50,000 experience and 50,000 AP, which we don't need at all, and 50,000 gil, and the Earth Harp! So that's one super boss down, one to go. And we can take that Earth Harp to, uh, the guy to get our reward for it, which I think is Master Materia. But well, before we do that, um, we 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 need to go turn in our 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 our, our materia.
Okay. Because I completely forgot to do that. 150 seconds per attack. Yeah, it, it's a lot of... Yeah, see, there's the other super boss. But we'll get to him in a bit. Wait, where am I going? I want to go to Cosmo Canyon. So I think we can turn in all of our materia for Master Materia. Yep, the 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 high wind's still s celestial white for whatever reason. I don't know why. So was Diamond Weapon Sprite on the Overworld. That was like white as well. Like the top of its head was white for some reason. Okay. So I think I'm. I, I may still be missing a a, a materia somehow. I don't know what causes caused that. It must just be the mod or something. I don't know. It only seems to mess up the high wind and diamond weapon. Everything else is fine. Huge materia. Get closer. The huge materia emits a gentle glow. The color is the same as Magic Materia. Okay, so it's not giving me that. Famous Command... Oh, there we go. Command Materia Blend. Maximum level Command Materia blends with Steel, Sense, Throw, Morph, Death Blow, Manipulate, Mime. Maximum level Materia has been lost. It receives one Master Command Materia. Yes. So I think we're missing some, some kind of magic materia. I'm just not sure what. Summon materia blend. All maximum level summon material will, will, will be blended. Maximum level summoned magic has been lost. Perceives one master summon materia. So I think we're missing a magic materia then. I don't know what that could be though. Let's try it again. Yeah. So basically what that means is it takes away all all of your master materia and you get one of them that'll have all of it. Master summon which will give you all summons, which is pretty sweet. And we, we, we get Master Command, which will give you all commands. And we just need magic, which we do, which we don't have. And there actually is none for, uh, Support or independent. So now we have all the commands. I don't think that counts W summon though. So I think you still got to put that on. But we get all the summons. And you can summon as many times as you want in battle. So that's definitely nice. So yeah, somehow I must be missing a... Uh, A uh, bu -bu -bu magic materia somehow. I'll have to look into that, but I'll do that some other time. I'm not going to worry about it right now. But basically, there's just an achievement for mastering all uh, materias, and you have to have them all in your inventory at once. But yeah. But yeah. But, yeah, let me make sure, uh, okay. Oh, cool, you can do that. Okay, so now we'll turn in the Earth Harp that we got, which I think is under key items. 
No, maybe it's under regular items. And I think we, we just get all of the master materia for that. I believe. Earth Harp calms the hearts of all who hear it. Good times. So we'll go ahead and turn that in before we fight the second super boss. And where am I going? No. What are you doing, Cloud? Come on now. You're screwing around again. Just like Bonga. Alright. Alright. Back to calm. Yes, I didn't go the wrong way for once. It was bound to happen eventually. Alright, so we can turn in the Earth Harp. Like I said, I think that just gives you all the Master Materia. Not really a big deal, but... But yeah. Oh, it's the Earth Harp! Wanna trade it for some Master Materia? I'm not being stingy either. I'll, I'll give you all three of them. Okay. Okay, then. It, it's a done deal. Even though we already have two of them, but... Apparently, somehow, I missed a master... Or, I missed a magic materia, somehow. It's a three-piece master materia set, and it's all yours. Alright. How come two of them look green? Master magic, master summon, master command, okay. Now we just need, uh, need to beat the other. Master Magic. So now we have all the spells. Let me look, see, see if there's a spell that, I don't, that, that we don't have. I'm trying to think. We have all of these, though. I'm quite sure of this.